Asobo and Microsoft have been hard at work updating the sim with new features and tech for the Xbox console release. Now that we know the day, we are going to dissect and have a look at the features from the trailer um, that we'll see in the new release. So with Insania, let's start off with the biggest one. Microsoft Flight Simulator is set to go live on Xbox Game Pass for Series X and S consoles on July 27th. The users of the console will be able to pre-order and pre-download the Xbox version prior to launch. We all know that PC users are expecting to see the same update, but we don't have a date or a date hasn't been confirmed or when they're going to see this update yet. Microsoft have announced they have partnered with Paramount Pictures to celebrate the launch of the Top Gun sequel Maverick. Microsoft Flight Simulator will launch a Top Gun theme expansion pack that will partner with the launch of the movie for 19th of November. From the looks of the trailer, we should expect to see a couple of new aircraft including a Mavericks F-18 and an aircraft carrier ops to be added to the sim with this expansion pack. DX12 has been confirmed for a while now. This was always to be released with the Xbox version of the sim. This was to be a, one of the main tools used for the sim's performance update to be able to place it on the console. No confirmation at this stage is it if this is still the case, but we are pretty confident this tech has been introduced into the sim to make the console and also bring over to the PC version. Microsoft have admitted recently they have been working on improving water effects for the sim. With the inclusion in the trailer of the X-Cub with floats and the fact that they showcased a water wake behind a plane landing on the water near a beautiful island, it's safe to say that this has made the update and we should see water effects um, with the console update of the sim. The X-Cup again was used to showcase in the trailer particle effects, this time launching itself off the side of a snow-capped mountain where a pair of snowshoes are bolted to the undercarriage and then again we saw the TBM leaving a dust trail behind itself as it was landing. Again it's safe to say that particle effects have been updated and introduced as a default feature for all the aircraft um, with this update. Reflections have been showcased many times in the trailer with close-ups of many different aircraft during the video. We have have seen the flight sim team working closely with Nvidia of late. So perhaps there'll be one or two things. Either Reflections has just had an update and then baked into the aircraft and some work's been done, or perhaps retracing will make it in this update. It appears that Reflections overall have made a massive overhaul from the trailer, so it'll be interesting to see if it's retracing or just a simple overhaul. A bunch of new liveries in many default aircraft are showcased right through the whole trailer supporting new liveries. These also appear to be uh, fictional um, based liveries on uh, many GA aircraft. Non-airliner based ones, we didn't really see any of those. But I would expect to see new liveries on most of the default aircraft to celebrate the Xbox release and just, you know, brighten things up a little bit. It has been an amazing ride so far. And we would expect this only scratches the surface on what yet is to come with this flight in platform in 2021. With the Xbox release just around the corner, the franchise is in a great place um, to keep improving and stretching the boundaries of what yet is impossible with flight simulations and gaming in general. Stay subscribed for more Xbox news as we follow all the news for The Sims release to the console. If there's anything we have missed in the trailer, please let us know in the comments below.